What's up guys? We're headed out on the Yankee Cap on one of our favorite trips out to Pulley Ridge and wherever this boat may take us really. And we kind of lucked out with some good weather. Um, we got a nice window where it's gonna be about one foot seas and we're ready to go drop some jigs. We just had a uh, system push through the Gulf. Actually, Will was out there and had to come in a little bit early, but we're, we're post system and uh, we're hoping the bite's gonna be turned on. We're gonna take you guys with us for, for the jig. And yeah, and we're hoping uh, American Reds are in season. We're hoping that Captain Greg can put us on some big fat American Reds. Yeah. We don't know if that'll be able to, to happen or not, but the possibility is out there. Also, Gag Grouper is now open, so that'll be fun to catch. So we hope to get into a lot of grouper, snapper, red snapper, American red, and then we'll be deep dropping for a lot of delicious species. Right. Not so, to mention, Will is still looking for his big black grouper. Big so, black grouper. So black That's grouper, if you're right. watching, here That's he is. That's right, and if he catches it, he's gonna corn hobble <laughs> everybody go. down the rail on the way. <laughs> so so hopes for the trip, just to, just to put some nice grouper in the box, put yeah. some nice snapper in the box, and uh, see if we can't get him on the jig. Yeah. So. Uh, it'll be tomorrow by the time we drop a jig, so tomorrow we'll see you guys tomorrow out tomorrow. on the water. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. So we definitely have a drift going on. So basically, uh, if you haven't done this before, you're getting used to it. It's like it's like underhand softball pitching. You know, I want to try to get as long of a lob out there as possible. Now I've already done this a bunch of times, so my jigs are still heading, hitting the bottom out in front of me, which I'm totally fine with because I want to maximize my bottom time. But really, the go time is when I'm vertical, right here off the corner and all the way along the transom. So this toss allows me to maximize my bottom time. You don't need to do a massive, massive toss. You'll still hit bottom and be vertical, but I like doing the toss. That's what we're gonna do now. So I also have an option when I'm tossing. I can go out here, which will keep me further away from the transom. I can go more in line with parallel with the transom, which will keep me close. If I go more towards the bow, it's gonna bring the jig under the boat. You just gotta maneuver your line and keep it off the hull, but you can do that too. Um, different tactics to kind of work with other anglers that are in this rotation. So I'm gonna go right off the corner, big long lob toss. And if I get it perfect, she does a little pencil dive in there. That was a little bit more of a flop, but. And that's gonna buy me bottom time. I'm gonna hit the bottom somewhere out here. Adam Trishman's gonna go right behind me. So basically, I'm kind of waiting. I let Adam go after me, he's descending. I'm gonna hit the bottom still in front of the drift because the conditions have just lightened up. So I'm, I'm gonna try to accommodate him, but at the same time stay as close as I can. So I'm gonna be over top of this jig when it hits the bottom. I know in the next few seconds it's about to hit the bottom. I like to have a quick reaction to that. So when it hits the bottom, I'm gonna close up and give it a pull. And that pull is gonna produce a flutter because I'm going to lower my rod tip right after the pull. One continuous motion. So there it is, pull flutter and see there was extra slack there because I'm actually out in front of the drift so as the jig is coming vertical there's actually more line than it needs so there's a couple extra cranks involved when you're out in front of the drift and then right when you're you're vertical here it's kind of game time I don't even need to totally crank it I can just flip it a couple times and then add a crank into the mix and at this point I'm just trying to buy a bite so I'm trying to switch up and do different things couple short pops into a long one and now as you can see my jig is moving down the transom of the boat so I got 30 feet of real estate here before I get to a uh, the next angler down there that's likely fishing bait and the hope is that the strike happens right here so that's two failed called shots this morning but nonetheless it's a successful pitch it's good bottom time if there is a fish in this target area, you know, I'll get them. So you just keep doing it and uh, be patient, keep working hard, you'll put fish on the deck. 
Oh, there we go. There's a tug. Yeah. Could be thousand. a uh, could be a blue line. I saw. I did see like a, a pretty a pretty solid tug at first. Yeah. You were bowed up. Yeah. Yeah. It felt uh, good. That was. This, I hate and to you say got this. the new Daiwa 15, which is how this does that is that feel? 35. Oh, that's the 35 JH. Well, I didn't really get to. You didn't work the drag, so. I didn't get to feel that come out, but I'll tell you, reeling this is wonderful. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's smooth, it's smooth it's, but I also just feel powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! All right. There we go. Uh-oh. Come on, grouper. Nice! Sweet. There you punch your skin. Look at that, that's a problem. There we go. Oh, yeah. Scampy grouper. On the Yankee. 500 feet. Manual crank, that's how you do it. Tasty fish. Cool. Thank you. Alright All right, guys, Captain Greg's got us moving now to a uh, deep drop right now. And uh, what I'm using is I'm going to start out with the Guava Torpedo 500 grams and I'm using a Daiwa Seaborg uh, G300J so that's the new the newest uh, jigging Seaborg from Daiwa and I got a prototype rod from um, Witch Doctor which is a jigging rail rod in other words you could stick this rod on the rail and and essentially fight a fish but like I said, this is just this is just a um, prototype, so it hasn't been tested out. So this will be our first time dropping that. But I'm also scoping down to 15 pound tests with my Daiwa line. That way I can cut through the water, I can get down deep. I don't know whether we're going to be in six, seven, eight hundred, even a thousand feet, but I want to be able to stay vertical. And up top here, you can see that I'm using uh, number six triple wrap split rings, and I've got the Johnny Jig single assist hooks. Um, these are 5-0 actually, and I do have a ball bearing swivel at the top, and I've got about 8 feet of 50 pound fluorocarbon. So this is going to be my move on this drop, and you know, hopefully we'll get into some snowy groupers, some scamp groupers are down there, uh, even some uh, long tail bass are down there. Just a lot of deep water uh, fish that I personally uh, enjoy eating uh, more than, than any fish in the ocean. So I'll see you guys at the rail. Hooked up, baby! So the, the captain said we were going to move and I was already like a hundred feet about to tap bottom and I said I'm going to tap bottom at least one time. So I did. And I'm glad I did. Hand bone. Hopefully a hand bone snapper, we'll see. So there's been a good showing of uh, hand bone snappers coming up. Um, a guy just caught a blue line tile as well. Uh, there's been a big shark kind of roaming around looking to take some of our fish but uh this guy hit right as I pulled it off the bottom and a lot of times that's what you're gonna find out out here is that you know sometimes it'll be a long soak and you'll get them but the majority of the time it's gonna be as soon as you tap bottom with the jig whenever you're gonna get that hit um, and that's not speaking for the bait obviously the bait guys will will do a long soak and they'll be able to pull a fish that way but the jigs a lot of times as soon as you get down but uh, we got about 260 feet to go and I got a meter that's on this uh, Daiwa Seaborg uh, 300 uh, J. This is the newest one. It's a brushless motor. It's supposed to be a little bit better than the last generation. But uh, hopefully we get this something to put in the ice box coming up here. So we've been fishing pretty hard today. It's been a great showing of fish. Really a great showing of fish. But, uh, 160 feet to go guys on the electric. And check this out, I got a little battery pack right here. And this is how I'm powering this reel. And this will last all day and it's got a USB port. Hey John, my on. cell phone's a little low on battery. Can I get a charge? That's right, it's got a USB port so Chris could charge his phone on there, any other electronics that you want to charge on it. And uh, you guys can pick that up at uh, johnnyjigs.com. We'll mail it out to you. And uh, we got 50 feet to go guys. Let's see what, uh, let's see what pops up here. Let's see. You gonna call it Doyle? No. Nope. He's not calling it. Yeah. Doyle won't call it. Adam called Hambone.
right here comes up pre-buttered. So that's a scamp grouper, guys. And something cool, if you want to take a look, it's at this fish's mouth. He's actually got some pretty sharp little teeth there. And uh, these guys will get, you know, I've, I've caught them up to 20 pounds. I think they'll get even a little bit bigger than that. But um, this is probably one of the uh, most delicious deep water uh, groupers that you can get. Um, my father always said that this is the captain's fish because nobody on the boat got it except for the captain. All right, let's go catch some more fish. feet deep I'm on a seaboard um, what I love about this is I put one of those Gomex's power handles on it's a good fish should be a good eating fish let's pray I get them up but honestly I don't even want to mess with the electric right now the power handle is giving me you know great cranks comfortable I got good leverage I haven't caught a good fish in a while so I'm not even gonna mess with the motor and run the risk of getting too excited and you know, pulling a hook out of the fish's mouth. So, for right now, I'm manual. And we're gonna keep bringing them in, which is about 500 more feet to go. 3.1 gear ratio, I'm checking that out. About an hour. So, you guys stay tuned to keep watching. You know, I know y'all like watching me. I think I give you good information, but we're just gonna sit here quietly, okay? <laughs> We got 200 feet to go. And I'm just cranking. Seaborg with the Gomexis. If you got one of these reels, highly recommend putting a $25 Gomexis power handle on it. Where can you find those at, Chris? JohnnyJinx.com, of course. <laughs> you can get all your jigging needs. We try to take the best care of it. Those rods are readily available for delivery. Oh yeah, dude, I mean, this. look at this thing. I can go all the way up. I can, I can pump. I don't want to pump on these fish because I don't want to have the hook, you know, with the heavy lead, create a bigger hole and have it become dislodged. But I can hear. Deep color. About 50 feet. Forty feet. We're gonna need a gaff. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got. It is not a jack. Right here. Here we go. Nice blue line. Felt so much bigger. Nice blue on tile. Okay. Well, got them in the belly. Blue line tile, gray tile, whatever you want to call them. They come pretty jumbo sized out here in Pulley Ridge. There he is. Hit a 400 gram Golden Glow torpedo. Yoked him in the belly there. Probably another hook in his mouth at some point, but great eating fish from the deep, 600 feet down. Pretty aggressive at first, and they float for a while. Great. All right, let's get a clean release. Let's get a clean release. <laughs> Hooked up, baby. Guys, I was just complaining that I haven't caught a fish in a little while, and then I hook up. And, uh, down about 600 feet. And I do have my Seaborg, and uh, Chris Doyle kind of started a trend that we're gonna reel these guys up manually if we catch them. So jig comes up with the electric, fish comes up with the reel. I wish I had that Gomex power handle like Chris did, but uh, something cool is uh, that kind of sparked our interest about rail rods while we were in California. And I'm using this uh, rail rod that essentially has a slow pitch tip to it and uh i got about 460 feet out of the 600 left to go and uh this feels like a good fish he did a nice nice uh dig on me and uh now he's coming up like a wonderful grouper and as much as i want to just push that button right there i'm gonna fight this fish with no electric there he goes he's pulling drag some more Coming up, so I was bouncing bottom. I was basically right on the bottom. 
on this fish. And, uh, I got a, I have on a uh, 500 gram guava torpedo. And essentially, you know, I don't think that I was necessarily getting like a very traditional slow pitch because I was scoped out just a hair. Um, but uh, the fish, uh, I was still able to feel bottom. So I was gonna continue working my jig just because of the depth that we're at and how far down we are. But um, clearly he liked what he saw. He did like what he saw. Oh and I've got three, 300 feet left Spit up a shrimp. on this. This rod has a special reinforced butt that doesn't flex. And uh, we got 60 feet left, guys. I'm gonna start focusing in on this fish. We should be seeing color here. There he is. We've got color coming up. He's in my line. <clears throat> He's in somebody's line. Yep. And that's all right. Nice so, fish. yeah, I feel a lot of weight on here that I shouldn't be feeling right. at this moment. You're just pulling my jig up. Yeah, come on. Go. Nice, nice blue line. Blue line. Nice blue line. Oh, wow. Is that film? <laughs> That's, That's a big one. Big one, right? The gaff didn't even stick in it for some reason. Hey guys, really nice uh, blue line tile. And, uh, this guy will go in the ice box. That's a decent size actually for these fish right here. And uh, you can see that guava torpedo 500 grams. So now let's. Captain's gonna move us for a second here. Uh, let's just get uh, it up. All right guys, so we're ready for the weigh-in. We have three different pools. First one's gonna be the biggest fish. That one's gonna take away all the money that was put into the pools. It's generally in the hundreds. The next one is gonna be for the biggest uh, snapper, which you'll get the new Mustad G-Series rod. And then the third one is biggest grouper. We'll also walk away with the new Mustad slow pitch jigging rod. Let's see what happens. Yeah, can we can we get this together? Yeah, I got no questions. All right. All right, and I apologize ahead of time for your camera. Right. How do you feel about your tuna box? I think I have the silver medal locked up. Silver medal. Silver medal locked up. Yeah, no All points right, for second place, as they say in Top Gun. Yeah. Stand over here. Hey, Come over here. Tuna that's right here for me. So we have Harold laying in his tuna. How do you feel about your fish right now? I feel great about it. Feel good about it. Yeah. You're gonna win. Don't win. 100 percent No question about it. Oh man. All right. I, I can appreciate your confidence. You should have gone in the pool. Should have. He's not in the pool. No, bro. Ooh, well okay. in there. He's not in the pool. You didn't get in the pool, right? No, I didn't get in the pool. Oh. Okay. Harold, if you're not in the pool, step aside. Yeah, you're gonna have yeah. to. You can weigh the biggest. Uh, uh, you can weigh it, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this heavy fish is getting balance, in the way. Yeah. You're in. You're in the biggest oh, no. snapper and grouper pool. Always get in the pool. Always. All right, coming in hot, Bobby Vaughn. So, do you think you really? Go ahead, hang it on the hook. Well, what are you waiting for? Put, I'm waiting for wait, it. Put it right. He says wait. <laughs> Does anybody want to compete for the largest fish? Harold. Overall fish. Harold. Troll Harold. doesn't count. Going once. Go. Adam, you want to hang yours up there? Three times. The two. The two. Uh, Bye -bye. It's the winner. Yeah. Thank you. They couldn't have done it without you. to get on the, the tank, the little mini my sabiki. Like I don't catch. What jig did you catch that on? Of course, a Johnny Walmart. jig. Uh, oh, the uh, the giveaway jig too, by the way. Really, the flatty, yes, the orange yes, flatty. Yes. My man. Yes, my man. Yes, yes. Congratulations flatty, on your big win. Thank you very much. According to you. Johnny yeah, Jigs bylaw, section 3.18, oh, all winnings are to be part. split with the Johnny Jigs crew. Wait, wait. Well, you're, <laughs> 90-10. 10% for you, so congratulations on your 10% win. Thank you very much. With that, I'm going to put nearly a whole gallon of gas in my truck. All right, biggest grouper, guys. Here's Wills. Biggest grouper. Let's go. It's going down. Don't worry, if Will wins. Blake, how you feeling walking up to the podium? 
Uh, so what do you got? Solid. What is this close? Biggest snowy I've ever seen. What did you catch that on? I caught it on a Johnny jig. All right. Oh, I'm 600 in. gram torpedo. Nice. 600 gram torpedo. All right, let's hang it up there. So we've got a snowy grouper versus a yellow edge grouper. And we've got Will on one side of this hook right here, which could be dangerous. And Joe oh, Robinson. That's heavy. Okay, you guys ready? Ready? Ready, back up. Let's see it. Back up, back you guys up. Ready? Let's see it. Back Let's up. see it. Let's see it. Back up. And we have. Oh! oh snowy oh, grouper! All right. Oh, come on. We got. It. Not a red. Adam Waterfall Britches tries me. <laughs> ready? On the red grouper. Oh! 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 Wait a minute. Oh! 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 Dang. That's oh! Oh, oh, I, can't, I can't believe that. Oh, Snowy takes it. Just a smidge. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Who's got a level? Oh. <laughs> so, Blake, what you have yeah, here no. is this is the G Series Mustad slow pitch jigging rod, and I can hey, tell um, you that it's very well put together. It's a beautiful rod. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to catch it. Hey, Anthony, can you take a picture of your man? That's it. Alright, biggest snapper! Biggest snapper! Biggest snapper! On the silver flatback. Silver flatback. Hey, Alright. There's two towers. We got Adam here on the. Hold it like this. That's the heavy, and then there's one lighter than the medium heavy. Who's got a big snapper? Oh, we got some contenders. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Adam, Adam, Adam. versus Adam, but snapper versus. Uh, yeah, good job, Adam. That was really good. Yeah, great. What'd you catch that on? Uh, not one of yours. Yeah, he caught it on a Johnny J. Great. Good job, Adam. Is any? Hold on a second. Oh, no Nobody else is gonna step no up. No contenders for the snapper. What about my mind? What did you catch that on? That was on the silver flatback. My man, Johnny J. Congratulations on the win. Let me get you your rod. Hang tight. Good deal. I'll take this yeah. is the new you know G series. Yeah, start up there and then front rod. Boat. So Not for your next side. trip out, you're gonna be able to drop this thing down. Nice. And I put the electric reel we just bought from you on that rod. Congratulations, man. Thank you. The battles have to be thank you. Out now. Well guys, out. that's it for our Yankee Cap trip. Um, I think everybody had a fantastic time. We've got wahoos and snappers and I think everybody's got their fill. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You could also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Putting out a few TikToks there, but most importantly, jig on.